Hi guys, it's the last day of National Children's Gardening Week. I'm a little bit sad because I've really enjoyed doing these videos for you all this week and doing the crafts and activities. It's been really good fun. I hope you've all enjoyed it too. So for today, our last make, we are going to be making a bird feeder in an old mug. So what you're going to need is obviously a mug, an old one. So I've got one here that's all cracked around the edges, so that's why I'm using that one. A dish, or maybe a saucepan, something like that, with around about 50 to 75 grams of lard or suet. I've got lard in there, suet works really well for this. Um, some string, a stick or an old spoon that you're not going to need anymore. If you've got the craft packs, you're going to want the rest of your bird seed that we didn't use earlier in the week. And I've also got some sunflower hearts here that I'm going to add in as well. Now sunflower hearts are really good for the birds because it means that they can get the energy straight away. They can eat the whole thing. They can't actually eat the black casing on the sunflower hearts, as far as I'm aware. And they take a lot of time to break them off to then give the hearts to their chicks or eat themselves. So what I'm going to do is to heat the lard up in the microwave until it's all melted. So you might want some adults help with this one again. So you can either do it in the microwave or melt it on a saucepan on a hob until it's all melted. So I'm now going to go and do that and I'll see you in a moment. So I put the lard in for around about two minutes make sure it's all melted so the glass dish is going to be really hot when it comes out so I've got an oven mitt and there's my spoon ready to do some mixing so the lard's all melted I'm wearing an oven glove because the dish is really hot it smells like roast potatoes mm, it's making me really hungry now I'm going to be careful and just sit this down on the table Ooh. Melty. I'm going to mix in the bird seed. Now it's good if you can get bird seed that is a no-grow mix, because it means if the pigeons, generally the pigeons or squirrels, if you have squirrels as well, they like to chuck the seed everywhere. And if it's got a lot of corn in it, you'll end up with corn growing all over the floor. And that's not really great, is it? So if you get a no-grow mix, it means the seed is sterile and it won't grow. Less mess, and it also means that the little birds will come and pick it up out of the, out of the ground or the stones or whatever you've got your bird table sitting on or your bird feeders. There you go, mix some of the sunflower hearts in there as well. I'm going to pop my glove back on. Just hold the bowl while I give it a good mix round. Mixy, mixy, mixy. There you go. And that's sort of doubled up how much mix we've got in there. Now the lard or the suet is really good because it's fat so it gives the birds energy and at the moment the parents will be feeding their babies and the babies are going to need lots and lots of energy to grow but the parents are going to need a lot of energy to keep feeding their hungry little chicks there you go give it a good mix around and then take your mug and carefully Spoon the mix into the mug. Now, I say between 50 and 75 grams of lard or suet. That is for the size of my mug. You generally want about half to three quarters of how much we fill a mug. Because once you add the bird seed in, it's going to fill it right up. Or maybe not. I'm going to add some more bird seed in there because I've underestimated how much I can fit in the mug. I'm going to add 
have some more sunflower hearts. And the reason you put the stick on, oh, I made a mess. The reason you put the stick on or in the mug or the old spoon or whatever you're going to be using is so that the birds have got a perch to sit on once you've hung it up. So now that's in there, I'll give it a good mix around. Lots and lots of mess. We like mess, don't we? There we go. And hopefully that's far enough in that the pigeons won't be able to get in there and all the little birds will be. So I'm going to leave that slightly lower. Clear up the mess I've made and pop the rest of the seeds I've spilt in there as well. So if you've got a bigger mug, you'll need more lard or more suet. Make sure it's all really well mixed in. Like that. There we go. And put the stick in the opposite side to where the handle is because it's the handle that you're going to use to hang your mug up. I can't tip it up all the way to show you because the lard is still melted in there. But that's going to sit like this. Oh, see? Like that. That can hang from the tree. You've got the stick poking out and the little birds can all sit on the sit on the perch and eat from the feeder. So I'm going to tie a piece of string around the handle I think I'll tie it around a couple of times just to make sure it's really held on tight like that tie a knot in the other end And then go and pop it in the fridge because it's the fridge that's going to set the lard or the suet, whichever one you've used. So we'll pop it in the fridge for either a couple of hours, but overnight is probably better. So I'll take this out tomorrow and go and hang it up in the trees. And then I'll be sitting and watching and waiting and seeing what birds will come. I wonder if it'll be a blackbird or a wren. Or we also have blue tits and great tits and there's occasionally been a thrush but she's not been about this year so I don't know where she is. We've got a lot of pigeons though and we've got one funky pigeon who's got like a black head. It looks like he's been sticking his head in a coal bucket. So yeah, so I hope you've all enjoyed this week. I've thoroughly enjoyed it and uh, I think I might just do a, another little video Maybe middle of next week to see how the grass head or the fairy garden, how they're all growing and just give you a little update. My little bean seed is growing well. I've got three roots and the leaves are now starting to pop up. So yeah, I've really enjoyed it and uh, happy growing guys and keep smiling.